Welcome to a cup of coffee and Norwegian Gothic, the new or the latest album by Orabot. And if you are watching this on the premiere day of this video, which is 16th of July, if I'm not totally fucked now, uh, Orabot are gonna have a live concert. So go to Orabot at Instagram for more info or to Pelagic Records, which are the people that have released this record. Uh, as you can see, the pink in the Orabot is shiny and the crows on the cover are also shiny. Uh, I'm not sure if all the uh, editions of the new album Norwegian Gothic is with this kind of thing. So go to your local record store and check it out. But this one is very limited. Only a hundred were made of this edition that I have. I think I forgot to take a sip of my coffee when I introduced myself for this video, but okay. I'm dressed for the occasion, of course. Um, we always dress up nice for uh, our good friends in Orabot, which is the, the main uh, cult uh, leaders, Karen Park and Chetl Nanes. Uh, also check out Karen Park's uh, solo album, which is fucking amazing. And she's released tons of stuff. Um, this is a fucking amazing album. It's one of my favorites, actually. I'm really a huge fan of uh, uh, Orabot with the more raw and crazy shit from the older days. But I really love uh, the gospel and uh, albums uh, that came after. But this one, uh, if I dare to say, go a little bit back to the roots, but they dare to mix it with some new, amazing, almost pop-like music. But at the same time, I really fuck you to the commercial uh, aspect of music. Uh, you can uh, clearly, clearly hear that uh, the Queen of Milfs, uh, Karen Park, has uh, a finger or two in the production and writing of these songs uh, compared to other albums by Orabot. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, Chettle, but uh, if I understand it correctly, most of the other albums are mainly written by Chettle Nanes aka tall man with the big white hat um, but on this album I think uh, they do the writing of the songs together a lot more that's my impression uh, that comes through the songs because it sounds like dark pop gothic occult and rock and roll as Jet Lanas likes to say so it's a very cool mix of uh, uh, songs uh, and every time you think, ah, oh, this is my favorite song. No, 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 this is my favorite song. Like one of the ones that I have as my favorites, as I love the opening song, Carnival Love, uh, Feel It On. It's an amazing sing-along and just the rhythm and the groove in that is fucking amazing. Kings of the Heart, you can go to Orobot's YouTube channel and check out the, the music video for that. It's like uh, short movies, really good produced and uh, uh, with the touch of the cult, as I said, without revealing too much. And uh, uh, which other ones? Hounds of Heaven, I think? No, The Moon is Dead. The Moon is Dead and You're Not That Special. Uh, with uh, some... Um, oh my god, I forgot his name right now, what I was going to say. Doran. Fuck. Damn it. Okay, two seconds. I have to check. I have to see if I can remember. It's embarrassing that I don't remember the name. Come on, man. Where the fuck are you? Van Doran. Something like that. Are you still there? Okay. I haven't left you guys. Just don't leave. Still in the background. You can hear me, right? Uh, should have had this book ready, though. Fuck me. Fuck! Damn it to hell! Well, I fucked up. Um, oh, there it is. Yes! <sighs> Sorry about that. Uh, I just. Because I uh, just got reminded that John Doran does some uh, spoken word stuff on this um, album. And of course, I'm a nerd, so I have both the editions. Uh, if you can see, there's like a difference in the volume here. This is the revised edition. This one, I think. Jesus, I'm not sure now. Yes, expanded edition, this one. Uh, got that from the Book Batikin, our local bookstore. And the reason why I had to get this is because 
it's some extra chapters with an English trip from 2015. And there you go. It's a photo of Jekyll Namas, aka Tallman. Get this book, it's fucking amazing. It's about uh, John Jordan and his hell through uh, struggling with alcohol. Which reminds me, if you go to my Instagram, I post my daily coffin comics. And right now, the series that's going on is Daddy Drunk and the stories about my dad being a drunk. So it suits pretty well with that book. It's like I almost rehearsed this video, actually. Get back to the album. Uh, Orabot's Norwegian Gothic. Uh, oh! If you go to my web shop, kaffifansine.com, uh, link below, you can get the... Uh, some Café Van Cine signed uh, by uh, Chetel Nalmes from Orabot interview and uh, yeah very few left of these so don't uh, hesitate at kaffevancine.com gotta whore yourself when you're an artist or else you can't pay the bill let's look at the actual record insert I don't know if this is this is on purpose but the opening is on the bottom is that because the crucifix is upside down then so the right way because you would never have it this way when you're opening at least not what I have on my other records it's either on the side or on the top but I don't know if this is an artistic thing uh, but it's really cool if it is because the cross becomes upside down when I reveal the black vinyl side A side B um, this is, I think it's independent shop edition. And Orabot often have like writings in the. Oh, yes. I'm only gonna read one. Dear Guest of Guests. It's written in the curves. Uh, I'm not even gonna show it to you, but that's uh, part of the fun with the Orabot releases. You are always. On almost all the records, they have like little hidden, like golden eggs. Easter eggs in the record, so go check that out. So, there you go, there's the black side A and B. And then you have this one. Again, the opening is on the bottom. Uh, I don't know if it's a production thing or whatever, but the reason why I dressed so nice today, ta da, matching. So, side C and then uh, side uh, D is a blank, but it's with... Holy shit, I didn't see this before now. You see? Always find new things with Orobot. Can you see it? It's the vagina with the shark teeth and the skull on top. Carved into the record. I didn't... I honestly didn't see this before now. Fucking hell. That's so cool. So you can have this uh, on a see-through plastic and hang it on your wall. Or you can buy patches and t-shirts of this logo and more merch at Orabot's website. You should also check out the Aura vlogs, which I'm very proud to have made when I lived in the church twice, where I uh, interview Chetl Nanes and uh, Karen Park about the albums and about Orabot, and I travel a little bit around with them. So go check that out on their uh, YouTube channel. If not, you can see the Aura vlogs on my YouTube channel right here also. But I hope you go and subscribe to their channel. Uh, this is also a gatefold. And it's a beautiful dark photo of the inside of their church in Jura, Jura Missionshus. Uh, yeah, I think that actually sums everything up here. Uh, so go get the fucking record. It's an amazing record. Uh, you can listen to it on Spotify, on iTunes and all that shit. But if you want the good quality, as music should be listened to, and if you like a band, support them by buying their fucking record. By listening to them on Spotify, you're not supporting them at all. It's good that you share their music and everything and people get to hear about them. That is actually uh, very good. That's proactive. Because then say a hundred people listen to it because you shared a song from Spotify on your Instagram story, for example. Or even better, you post it and then share it in your story. Then maybe those 100 who listen to Orabot and checked it out, liked it so much that they buy the record, they buy the merch, they go to the shows. So, but seriously though, just 
buy either the vinyl, the CD, a t-shirt because uh, it really helps the band. This is this is one of the f a few bands that I know about from my hometown and in Norway that actually do music full time. And that is not an easy job. And as you can see, Karlan is pregnant on this cover. So child number two is already arrived into this world. So you can feed their baby literally by buying this album. So do yourself a favor, support Orabot, join the church of Orabot. All right, I'm gonna shut up now. And uh, of course, in good spirits, it's the weekend, so and it's a Friday, and I'm gonna have a threesome today. Yeah, it's not the first time. I've done it once before, and it was fun. But today, I'm gonna have a threesome with uh, Marius from uh, a metal band called Deception, and also from uh... Fuck me. I forgot his solo project. I didn't rehearse this. I'm so sorry, Marius. Lysjakt! Oh! That's his solo project. I'll link them below so you can check it out. But join me and Marius uh, when we have a threesome on my Instagram live stream at 13100 UTC plus one. What? Instagram will let us show a threesome? What the fuck? Don't worry. If you're not there when we're doing it live at 13100, I'm still going to post the video, but you should hurry though in case they remove it for obscenity or something. Maybe it's just too beautiful for the world to comprehend. <sighs> well, go check that out. And every Friday I do a live stream on Instagram. So you're welcome to join every time and go to my IGTV and see all the previous episodes. And as always, there's always a new episode of a cup of coffee and something on my YouTube channel here every fucking Friday. So just subscribe, like and smack fist that fucking bell so you get notified when the video is out. And thanks to everybody who ordered uh, scenes and comics and stuff from my web, uh, web shop, cafecine.com, link below. Uh, done making some extra stuff for you guys on my order here now. I'm gonna ship them as you are watching this video actually. On Friday that is, when I do a treason as well. So, I gotta go and uh, Get ready for my threesome. Got to shave, no hair in the mouth. So, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next week. Just gonna go now. So, bye then. Have a nice weekend. Bye.